Phoenix Suns actually the best team in the NBA and not the Warriors. And should the Portland Trailblazers finally part ways with Dame Lillard? And finally, how you are going to get paid to watch this one. Let's get it. This is Enough Said Sports. Hey guys, I hope all is well in your world. It is all well here at Enough Said Sports as we come to you with another preview and prediction video, this time for the NBA here on YouTube. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day or your evening whenever you may be watching this to support us on YouTube. If you like this sort of content, please also join us on Patreon. Click the first link in the description box below. Become a true fan of Enough Said Sports and get all of our exclusive content all of our picks for the NBA, NFL, and college football, and also enter to win your chance to win a jersey from either the NBA, college football, or the NFL. Details on that are right here just above my head. Click to check that out and see how you can enter to win. Now, let's talk about this matchup that's going to be coming on on tomorrow evening, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on TNT. It's going to be the Phoenix Suns traveling to play the Portland Trailblazers. The Phoenix Suns are favored by two and a half in this one, and the total in this particular contest is 218. Now, let's start out with these Phoenix Suns, these red-hot Suns. They are playing unbelievable basketball yet again this season, backing up what they did last season and getting all the way to the NBA Finals, and they're definitely having another stellar season. Really like the addition of JaVale, Mc JaVale McGee, and this team is really, really playing well. And definitely, you know, I'm loving what I'm seeing out of this particular basketball team. And right now, honestly, I have to say, uh, you know, as we sit here today, December 13th, 2021, I think the Phoenix Suns are the best team in the NBA right now. They're the best thing going. They're a little bit better than the Golden State Warriors right now. They're definitely playing a little bit better. Obviously, the Suns are a little bit banged up with DeAndre uh, Ayton having his issues and also Devin Booker a little bit. But when healthy and whole, this team right now is slightly better than the Golden State Warriors. Now, granted, the Golden State Warriors do not have Klay Thompson back just yet, so we'll have to see how that blends and how that meshes. And I suspect that's going to give the Golden State Warriors quite the boost. But he, as we sit here today, we have to give the Phoenix Suns their credit. They are the best team in the NBA right now, and it is going to be a collision course, it looks like, between them and the Golden State Warriors to meet in the Western Conference Finals, and that's going to be one heck of a battle to see who has the right to go play in the NBA Finals and play the representative of the Eastern Conference, which I still believe will be the Milwaukee Bucks. Now, moving on to the other side, the Portland Trail Blazers, they've been struggling all year. Definitely been struggling on the road specifically. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, they definitely play a lot better at home. But in general here lately, they've been struggling with injuries. C.J. McCollum has a collapsed lung right now. I'm praying for him to, to heal and, and get better. Hopefully things will be okay with him. Uh, Dame Lillard coming off of injury. He's back now and playing for the Portland Trail Blazers. The question is this, should the Portland Trail Blazers go ahead and trade Dame Lillard. I'm going to say yes, they should. Because at the end of the day, guys, if you're an owner from an ownership perspective, you're not really going anywhere with Dame Lillard. I understand that Dame Lillard is a superstar for the Portland Trail Blazers and has been for many years now. And I believe that it's run its course. I think it's time to try to take this team in a little bit different direction, allow Chauncey Billups to take these pieces possibly and you're able to possibly get uh, uh, Ben Simmons back along with some draft capital if you were able to go ahead and make this move and that might not be necessarily a bad thing Ben Simmons first team all defense he's a little bit different of a basketball player I don't think he's nearly as good as Dame Lillard but sometimes things have run their course and I believe for the Portland Trail Blazers the time has come to move on from Dame Lillard and try to go a different direction and try to build this team differently and see what you can do. You got some pretty good pieces there. You got Nurkic still there. You got C.J. McCollum still there. And I'm thinking you, you pair Ben Simmons in the mix. It might be a little bit better fit for this basketball team. But nevertheless, if you trade Dame Lillard, you're going to get Ben Simmons. And like I said, probably a couple of first-round picks and possibly even some second-round picks mixed in there because I believe at this point the Philadelphia 76ers are desperate 
to move on from Ben Simmons. Now, from a betting standpoint in this particular contest, I really like the, the Phoenix Suns. I know they're currently playing the, the L.A. Clippers right now. We'll see how that goes. And again, the Suns are a little bit banged up, but I really like them in this spot, even though Portland has shown that they can be formidable at home. I believe that this team has kind of let go of the rope in, in sorts here. They just don't seem right. They seem, you know, even though Dame Lillard is saying he doesn't want to be traded, it seems like he wants to be traded with the way that he's been playing. He's definitely been struggling all year long. This team is just off, and they're just not not quite right. I'm going to say even though the Phoenix Suns are playing currently right now, and it's going to be the second night of a back-to-back, -back, that their team unity, their team skill, and them playing together is going to get them the victory. And I love them here in a small spread situation. So I'll take the Phoenix Suns minus two and a half. And I'll also take it, take them on the money line for whatever it's worth. And I actually like the under 218 in this particular contest. I think both of these teams are going to probably struggle to score a little bit. I think Phoenix coming off of a back-to-back -back might be a little bit tough for them. And I think the Portland Trailblazers are just having a hard time scoring in general. So let's go under 218 in this particular contest. So to recap, we got the Phoenix Suns minus two and a half, Phoenix to win on the money line, and under 218 total points scored. Phoenix Suns fans, do you think that your team is the best in the NBA currently? And do you believe they will ultimately be able to represent the Western Conference in the NBA Finals? And Portland Trail Blazers fans, do you think it's time to move on from Dame Lillard? Or do you think that maybe you should trade some other pieces and retool this team around Dame Lillard to see if you can make a run that way. And finally, guys, let me know what you think about the pick itself. Really appreciate all the support. Again, if you like this sort of content, please join us on Patreon. Need the support over there. Click the description box below. Click the link. Become a true fan of Enough Said Sports and get the aid your bank account needs. You guys have a wonderful and great night, and I will talk to you again soon. Take care.